first ever, 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 ever YouTube video. Just trying to get my head around the whole cameras and lighting and whatever, but I'm here and I'm excited to show you how I'm gonna make these frog scones. These guys are so, so easy to do. You can make them gluten-free, you can make them vegan, you can make them gluten-free and vegan, or neither if you want to as well. You can do so many variations on them too. You can do them different sizes. Kids can do them, adults can do them, and they taste great. There's literally no negatives. <laughs> you just pop your bowl and your weighing scales, have your ingredients ready, and get going. 225 grams of self-raising flour. There we go, a bit of salt, sugar. For the sugar, you can adjust how much you wanna add. I've done just a little bit, cause I don't want mine super sweet, but you can add more if you want sweeter scones, or if you're doing savory scones and mixing up the ingredients or adding raisins, maybe you want a little bit less sugar. Teaspoon of baking powder. And then you wanna chop up your butter. So just chop it into little cubes. You want your butter to be room temperature so it's kind of soft and easy to chop up. But if you've got it a bit firmer, that's okay too. It just means you need to work it into the flour a little bit more. And chuck in your butter. So just chuck all the little cubes in. And mix it in. Use your fingertips just to give it a rub in. You don't want to overwork the flour at this stage because um, the more you work the flour basically the tougher your scone's going to be. So you want nice and light fingers. Make sure you work the butter in but just don't overdo it. <laughs> That is about done. So you can see that it's like fine breadcrumbs or there's no big lumps of butter in there. So we can move on to the next bit. Add your milk. And there. And just use a spoon to mix it all together till it all comes together as a nice ball of dough. And you're gonna flour your work surface. You can be quite generous with the flour. Just make sure it doesn't stick. Just get your dough and plonk it down. And literally you're just gonna use your hands to pat it into a round kind of shape. Mm. I can't resist keeping eating it. <laughs> so I can show you how much the, how thick it is. The bowel, oh, what's that for me? four centimetres, like three and a half to four centimetres, but I'm doing them quite small, so I'm gonna cut my, I'm gonna cut my scones so they're this side. If you're doing wider scones, then you might want the thickness to be deeper, just so it's proportional, proportionate. And the fun part, cutting your scones. So first of all, you wanna flour your cutter a little bit. So just pop a bit of flour around the edge of the cutter, just so it doesn't stick and then pop your cutter on your dough and press it straight down and don't twist. So at the bottom I'm gonna shuffle it, but I'm not twisting it like that. So I'm not going side to side and just gently ease it out. There you go. I'll show you one more time. Push straight down, lift it and pop it on your baking paper. There we go. Mm. So now your dough is gonna be all in bits and you can't really get another whole scone out of that so just bunch it together and repeat. I just have this much scone dough left, so I can make another scone, um, but I am just gonna use this for the eyes, and then whatever I've got left over, I'll just make a tester on the side so that when I bake it, I have something to test that the food's ready. So for the eyes, I'm just gonna put some milk in this bowl, 
and a little squeeze of green food dye and give it a stir so that it's a nice really strong green now as you can see like a nice froggy green and then brush this on the top of all the scones so just giving it a nice coating it's okay if you get a couple of drips coming down the edge they kind of just give the frogs a little bit more character it's kind of what i like about this recipe is it's it's very forgiving of any mistakes any mistakes kind of leads to the character of your frogs. When I've made them in the past in the oven, they sort of erupt in different ways. Um, some of them go a bit lopsided, some of them get like cracks in them, which look like mouths almost, and you can work with that and just create your own little family of funky frogs. So they're all kind of covered. We'll probably give them another coating later when I add the eyes. So don't worry if the green's not that strong. But now to make the eyes, you're gonna use your scone dough, pinch off a little piece. So then roll it between the palms of your hands like this until it's nice and smooth. And then pop it onto your frogs like that. You can't go far wrong with these unless you burn them, which you won't do you can put the timer on. You just try press them down a little bit because occasionally you can have an eye that falls off when it's baking. Um, but you know, if it does fall off, you can just stick it back on afterwards. So it's fine if all your eyes fall off. Okay, I'm just gonna keep going. It's the last eye. So now I'm gonna get my green milk wash and just swipe it over all the eyes so that the eyes are green as well. Though the eyes do go a little bit brown in the oven just because they're higher up than the rest of the dough, but we'll be sticking eye, like little edible eyes on them. So it kind of disguises the browning of it. Great. So that's all my frogs painted and looking almost like frogs we're gonna wait till they bake first so i'm just gonna chill these in the fridge for about 20 minutes because scones are basically pastry so you want the butter to be as cold as possible so when it hits that hot oven you're gonna get the biggest rise that you possibly can get i'm gonna pop these in the fridge put the oven on 180 degrees and i will be back so look at these little guys they're out of the oven now I mean that guy's a little bit lopsided, that one's got a crack, but I can already see they've got a bit of character going on. And all we're gonna do is stick some eyes on them and they're gonna look amazing. But first I gotta let them cool, so just pop them on your cooling rack. Done! Oh and this guy is my little spare scone, so that's how I know that they're ready, is because I have been eating this one. I'm gonna eat that whilst they're cool. So now I've had my scone snack and these guys have cooled and now I'm going to show you how to make the icing to stick on the eyes. You want to weigh your icing sugar. I mean you don't have to, you don't need much at all, it's just enough to make like a glue or paste. And then a little bit of water, a bit more. tipping point where it goes from like not enough water to way too much water. It is looking like a nice thick paste. So I just pop my piping bag in the cup and get your spatula and just scoop all of this icing sugar into the cup. Just give the top a little knot like that and snip the tip with the scissors just a little bit like so. Here's all my eyes and if you don't have these sprinkle eyes you can use um, what I just did with icing um, except use white and black so then you can add the little black dot to the eye. I'm gonna pick a lucky frog to start with. Um, I don't know which one maybe. Okay I'm gonna do him. You know your typical wonky scone. You think oh god that's really gone wrong. 
but actually this is the frog that you want this is the frog with the most character so pop your eyes so just put a bit of um, icing where you want the eyes to go get your eye and stick it ah. and get your other eye and stick that so now he's got a bit more of that character going on and I'm going to do a few more and show you much for watching my first video please subscribe to my channel that would be incredible and um, like and comment and I will see you next week